Hey my friends. In today's video we're going to look at the 2022 World Cup, but with a twist. The qualified nations are the lowest ranked in the world. First of all, we have to see which and how many nations we can admit to this World Cup. However, we must not disregard the FIFA rules. These give each continental association a fixed number of starting places for a World Cup. Currently the distribution looks like this. Since we have some continental associations with half a starting place, we have to distribute the places ourselves beforehand. UEFA and CAF keep their integer number of places. Since Qatar, an Asian country, is the host for this year's World Cup, the AFC will be credited with this starting spot. In addition, I would like to see each continental federation get at least one starting spot. Therefore, the OFC will also get one starting place. The last starting place was decided by a coin toss and went to CONCACAF. Now that we have determined the number of nations for each continental federation, we need to determine the individual nations. For this we look at the current world ranking list. From each federation, we take the nations that are ranked lowest in the world ranking according to the number of starting places. The African participants are, Somalia, Eritrea, Seychelles. Djibouti and Sao Tome and Principe. For Asia, the participants are, Sri Lanka, Guam, Timor-Leste, Pakistan and Bangladesh. The European representatives are, San Marino, Gibraltar, Liechtenstein, Moldova, Malta, Andorra, Lithuania, Latvia, Azerbaijan, Faroe Islands, Kazakhstan, Cyprus and Estonia. Yes, there are really so many and yes, there was no room left. For Central and North America there are, Anguilla, the British Virgin Islands, their friends from the American Virgin Islands and Turks Caicos. The only representative from Oceania, is Tonga. And last but not least, the nations from South America, Bolivia, Venezuela, Paraguay and Ecuador, the biggest favorite to win the World Cup should clearly be Ecuador, after all, they were the only nation to participate in the real World Cup this year. The other South American participants, as well as nations such as Liechtenstein, Kazakhstan and Cyprus, are also likely to be among the favorites. What do you think? Who will win this special World Cup? Write your guess in the comments now. The next step is to divide the nations into four different strength groups according to their world ranking position. These are necessary for the distribution to the later groups. Since this year's World Cup really took place in Asia, our World Cup will also be hosted by an Asian country. This will be the highest ranked nation, Bangladesh. So, welcome to the 2022 World Cup in Bangladesh. We will also follow the current FIFA rules for the draw of the groups. These state that the host nation and the countries from Pot 1 will form the group heads. In each group, one nation will then be drawn from one of the pots. The rule is that no representatives of the same continental association may be in the same group, with the exception of the European representatives. There may be a maximum of two representatives in each group. This now leads to the following groups. But before we spend too long on this confusing list, let's switch to the view of the individual groups and have a look at the results there. Let's start with Group A. 
post Bangladesh and the two Europeans Liechtenstein and Andorra completed by Turks and Caicos meet here. Favourites should be the two Europeans, so we should probably see off their host early on. Turks and Caicos should be the clear underdogs in this group. Let's take a look at the results and the standings, Group is relatively low scoring through the tournament. As suspected, the two Europeans lead the group. Turks and Caicos remain last without a goal or a point. We already have to say goodbye to the hosts Bangladesh. Let's move on to Group B. Tournament favourites Ecuador will face the Faroe Islands, Djibouti and Gibraltar. Ecuador is not only the tournament favourite, but also the big favourite of the group. Gibraltar and the Faroe Islands are likely to fight it out for second place. Djibouti is likely to finish last. Let's take a look at the results and the table. Ecuador marches through the group without any problems and without conceding a goal. 16 goals scored is also a strong showing. The second place is secured by Faroe Islands with 6 points. Djibouti is only in last place because of the worse goal difference. On to Group C. Favourites Paraguay face Azerbaijan and Pakistan. San Marino also completes the group. Here, the placings should already be clear before kickoff. Only the battle for the last place could provide some suspense. Let's take a look at the results and the table. Paraguay marches through the group with a goal difference of 9 to 0. They are followed by Azerbaijan, who have two wins. The exciting battle for the last place was won by San Marino, as they conceded more goals. But at least they managed to secure a point in the direct duel with Pakistan. Let's move on to Group D. Here, the third South American representative Venezuela will face Latvia, Somalia and Guam. Venezuela is the clear favourite in the group. Guam, at the same time, is likely to finish last. However, it is not clear to me who will finish second and thus make it into the round of 16. Let's take a look at the results and the table. Like the other South American representatives, Venezuela marches easily through the group. 9 points and 12 goals to 0 speak a clear language. Guam was as expected, the favourite opponent of the others, because they lost every game without being able to score a goal of their own. In addition to Venezuela, Latvia also made it to the round of 16 with a 1-0 win in a direct duel against Somalia. Let's move on to Group E. Bolivia is the last South American team to enter the tournament. In their group they will meet Lithuania. Temelest and the American Virgin Islands. According to this list, the role of the favourites in the group should also be distributed. Again, the fight for the last place will be interesting. Let's take a look at the results and the standings. Bolivia marches through the group without any problems and 20 to 1 goals. Particularly impressive was the 0 to 11 against Timor Lest who secured the last place in the group with this result. Lithuania also made it to the round of 16, winning two games. Let's take a look at Group F. Here, the two European nations Kazakhstan and Malta will face the Seychelles and Sri Lanka. The favourites are likely to be the UEFA members. However, it would also be possible for the Seychelles to spring a surprise. Sri Lanka should have no chance here. Let's have a look at the results and the table. As expected, Kazakhstan and Malta qualified for the round of 16. A surprise by the Seychelles failed to materialize. They just managed to secure third place ahead of Sri Lanka with a slightly better goal difference. 
both remained scoreless. Let's go to the penultimate group G. Estonia, Moldova, Eritrea and the British Virgin Islands are in a direct duel for a place in the last 16. Only the last place for the British Virgin Islands is likely to be determined beforehand. Otherwise, it will be a tight race between Estonia, Moldova and Eritrea. Let's have a look at the results and the table, Estonia was able to win three matches and was the first in the table. On the second place followed Eritrea, which could win the direct duel against Moldova with 1-0. The British Virgin Islands finished last, without a point or a goal. Finally, let's take a look at Group H. Cyprus, Sao Tome and Principe, Tongu and Angola start the tournament as the last participants. Cyprus can be considered the clear favourite here. However, the other three nations are on a similar level so it could be interesting to see who could also qualify for the round of 16. Let's have a look at the results and the table, as expected, Cyprus easily prevailed with 9 points and 7 goals to 0. On a second place follows quite sovereign Sao Tome and Prince Saip, which won the two duels against Anguilla and Tonga. The two nations, on the other hand, drew in the direct duel so that Anguilla ultimately came last due to the worse goal difference. All the participants in the round of 16 have now been determined. Let's take a look at who will meet whom there. There are some evenly matched duels here. Liechtenstein, for example, will meet the Faroe Islands in a European round of 16 match. Bolivia against Malta or Kazakhstan against Lithuania could also turn out to be interesting duels. Let's take a look at the results, Paraguay wins against Latvia. Liechtenstein misses out to the Faroe Islands. Ecuador has no problems against Andorra. Venezuela wins against Azerbaijan. Bolivia successfully beats Malta in the highest scoring game. Estonia without problems against Sao Tome and Principe. Kazakhstan beat Lithuania in the second European round of 16. Cyprus and Eritrea draw after 90 minutes, so we have to go into extra time. Cyprus and Eritrea are still tied after 120 minutes so this match has to go to a penalty shootout. Here, Eritrea can beat Cyprus and can move into the quarter-finals. This means that all the participants in the quarter-finals have now been determined. Let's take a look at who will meet whom there. These four games should be very interesting. In a South American duel, two favorites, Ecuador and Venezuela, will meet. In general, the South American nations and Kazakhstan should have the best chances of reaching the semi-finals. Let's take a look at the results. Without any problems, Paraguay can beat Foro Islands 3-0 and moves into the semi-finals. Bolivia wins a close duel against Testonia with 2-1. Eritrea unfortunately cannot create the next sensation and fails conceivably to Kazakhstan with 0-1. In a very close and probably exciting match, the two favorites Ecuador and Venezuela separated with 3-2. All participants of the semi-finals are now known. Let's take a look at who will meet whom there. Paraguay will meet Bolivia and Kazakhstan, as the last European representative, will meet Ecuador. Let's take a look at the results, Ecuador easily beat Kazakhstan 3-0 to reach the final. The second semi-final, on the other hand, was a closer affair. After 90 minutes, the South American duel is tied 2-2. 
This match will therefore have to go into extra time to determine the second finalist. But even after 120 minutes, the score is still tied. Therefore, the penalty shootout will have to help. In a thrilling penalty shootout, Paraguay finally won 6-5 and entered the final. The participants for the game for the consolation prize have also been determined. In the match for third place Bolivia and Kazakhstan will meet. Bolivia could secure South American dominance of this World Cup with a win, as the top three spots would then go to South America. Kazakhstan, on the other hand, could break that supremacy and bring at least third place to Europe. Let's take a look at the result. In a close game, Bolivia prevailed 2-1 and secured third place at the World Cup. So it's already clear that this is the World Cup all in the spirit of South America. Congratulations to Bolivia. In the final, Paraguay and Ecuador will meet. Both nations were able to play their way through to the final in a largely confident manner, both teams only had a brief period of weakness, but even this was victorious. Let's take a look at the result. In a close game, Ecuador was able to prevail with a score of 2-1. Congratulations to Ecuador for winning the 2022 World Cup. Please leave a like and a comment. It would help me a lot. If you want to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe so you never miss a new video. Feel free to post in the comments what alternate World Cups you'd like me to simulate. High ranked. Low ranked, but without FIFA rules. Write me your ideas in the comments. Bye.